Justice, Pilot Justice. I've already taken it out of the box and used it, but this is the nice black box that comes in. I don't know if you can see the lettering. It has to be at just the right angle because it's black on black. And Justice by Pilot. It's a very nice box with a slip cover. Um, comes with a foam insert and plastic. And then you have a recessed place for the pen. And uh, very nice, very nice. Let's move on to how the pen functions. This is an unusual pen in that the Justice was designed to have multi-flex. That is to say, there's an adjustment ring here. And if you hold the barrel back here and turn this adjustment ring, there's a little piece on the nib that slides forward or backwards, depending on which way you're turning it. In the fully forward position, it's stiffer. If you run it all the way back, it flexes more. So, since I like a flexible nib, I tend to have it all the way back. And here's what you get with this. This is a fine point. Now that's fairly large writing. One thing I've pointed out in some of my previous videos is part of what affects your flexibility and how the lettering looks is how big you write. A lot of these Japanese pens actually do better. They come with a very fine point. And if you write smaller, you have what appears to be much more flex. Let's compare these two. And you can see there's much more flex in terms of thick and thin that's apparent when you write smaller. Um, you can do very nice up. Oh, I went too fast. All flex pens you have to be careful about going too fast. Start going real fast, you outrun your ink supply. Um, just doing a little dragon here for you. Dragons. Now, as with most pins like this, you do get some variation into how well they flex. This one is unusually good about extra fine or how broad it can go. So you get the uh, traditional SE lines here. Now, when the pen's warmed up, it flows better. This one's been sitting in a drawer a while. I probably should have cleaned it. But I do want you to see that you can railroad with it if you go too fast. It is a lovely pen and for regular writing. It is fine. Uh, I call it medium wet to wet. All right, and of course the ink you use changes how fast it writes, etc. It's a beautiful pen. It has chased black, gold appointments, and um, just a beautiful classic pen. It feels good in the hand. The chasing makes it extra comfortable, I think. Um, and other than that, I'll start giving you the measurements. It is a larger than normal pen, especially for a Japanese pen. We're coming out. Of course, I always like to do the grip section. Uh, on zero. Let me 
let's see, on, zero, okay. Now let's get that. The grip section comes out at 2964, so good size. And the inside of the cap, for some reason people are always asking that. And that comes out 3364. Back here on the rest of the barrel, I don't know why people care so much about that, but it's 3364. And if we take it capped, we come in at 5 and a quarter. Excuse me. That's uh, a little over. Yeah, it's more like five and three quarters is what I'm trying to say. Five and three quarters. Uh, posted. If we go here, we're coming up. And right at six and a half. Nice. Beautiful pin. I go back and forth about selling this one. I think I am going to sell it. Um, can't keep them all, but this is a great one. If I were starting out looking for a modern flex pin, this is the one I would start with. Unless I wanted to write really small, and then I'd start out with the Pilot Elabo Pilot Falcon. Uh, but this is the Pilot Justice. 